After watching this video tutorial, you will know how I've modeled a kitchen island using blenders, 3D camera and a photo reference. This add-in free camera matching workflow that I'm showing is crucial for professional blender work and I've been using it successfully for my client projects for over a decade. If you have any questions or comments on my techniques, feel free to leave them under the video so we can all learn from each other. This video is part of my interior visualization course in Blender, which is available for free on my channel. You can find a complete playlist with other parts linked in the description field. And if you want to access all of the course project files and support what I do, I share more information on that at the end of the video. Anyway, my name is Lech and welcome to my interior visualization course in Blender. With my new camera matched, I will now just select this object and hide everything else. So I'm pressing, holding shift key and pressing H with my object selected. Now let's enter the edit mode and start our editing by selecting this front face and moving it a little bit back so it matches this edge here. And I do that because you can see we have this little face going here and from this main camera it confuses that the whole element is that thick and you can see it's actually thinner than we think so i will shrink it to this area here and now i will add a loop cut like this so it matches this corner here now i can select face like this and extrude it so it matches this edge here something like that we will also have to fix the tabletop look here in this area but that will come in a second right now I think we need to adjust those two faces yeah like this and I think we also need to adjust the height of the element a little bit because if I add an extra edge loop like that to create this thickness or just to mark the thickness you can see if I if I match it to this line here um, we have it's it's way too thick so I let me just select those faces and move them downwards so I press G and Z and now you can see we have this mismatch here in the back so I'm gonna select those two faces we have in the back and move them just so they match sorry um, something wrong oh yeah I need to select these edges as well sorry these faces okay so now I move them and we have a general shape I would say let's now start working on this uh, area here so to do that we still need to create one more edge loop and that's for adding this little corner here because we can see this whole front is aligned to this area here and it starts here okay so we will need one more edge loop that ends somewhere around this point like that and now i also need to add a thickness like here so let's let's add something like this just thinking why my cursor is there hmm. never mind let just uh let's just move it so we have more or less the same thickness on those two uh dimensions here i will now select all of these faces yeah and simply extrude them so they 
uh, reach this area. So I press E and extrude. And we have our element created. So from the perspective, from the camera match, we can see uh, we still need to add this tabletop part of the element. So let me just select those two faces. And you would normally probably extrude them, which is okay. Just please remember to remove this face here. Because otherwise we will have uh, faces which go inside of the object and that's not, not 3D correct. It would probably work for most 3D applications, but let's learn how to create a nice geometry in 3D. Um, I'm switching to the snap tool here so we can just align those vertices perfectly. I'm selecting everything right now, right clicking and going to remove double vertices. So those two points we just snapped are uh, merged. I'm now selecting those three faces here and extruding them so they reach this area. And if we go to the top view, uh, yeah, you can see we even got a pretty proportional dimensions in, in this area just from the just from the camera uh, perspective which is pretty nice indicator we have a good camera match I think yeah so with this element ready we could still double check the camera um, match we have from this perspective by blocking out those four stools maybe let's see how it goes I'm gonna start by unhiding everything again um, let's just press alt h and again i need to hide my floor plans yeah so i will now switch the 3d cursor and just place it somewhere around this area and obviously i will add a cube scale it down and go back to the wireframe so I will now enter the edit mode, select the bottom face of the cube and move it up so I know it's aligned to the, more or less, to the floor. I go to wireframe again and try to move this cube more or less so it matches those four points of this stool. So I move it in the y-axis, just like this. We can do it in edit mode actually. Um, let me just select this bottom face and scale it in the X axis just a little bit. So you know, you can see we still have those little imperfections, but it shouldn't be a tragic. Uh, let's move this up, scale it a little, a little bit in X. I will now add a very amateurish look at like this select this face here and just extrude it up so we know more or less this is the backrest of, of this stool we have something like that created let's now duplicate it four times and you can see it matches quite quite well another proof another proof that we have a pretty nice camera match i'm i know i'm repeating myself uh yeah but i'm also saying that for purpose meaning that we can move more and more boldly into adding uh the the smaller details to the scene because it's pretty similar again i'm, I'm using this architectural drawing reference and what i mean by architectural drawing is the the style of drawing you need to learn in order to um, I think it was like that in most of the countries. If you wanted to study architecture, you had to know the, the, the perspective drawing. And one of the principles of that kind of drawing is going from the general perspective details into the medium sized details into the small details. And the reason for that is when you have the big elements properly aligned, in terms of perspective then the middle uh, size elements 
will be probably aligned properly as well meaning the small elements you start adding over time will definitely be aligned properly so what i'm saying that you can actually see from that perspective um, that this element seems to be quite a little bit too big but we are still not sure and perhaps scanning it like this will already solve the problem um, so it's again similar as with drawing you add many many lines because you're analyzing the space you're trying to visualize you're analyzing if the proportions if the sizes if the dimensions are correct if let's say this little offset we have here which as you can see on the lines it's it's still in the correct perspective is something actually wrong maybe we if we move the table just a little bit like this so it looks correctly in that perspective maybe it's really not a big deal uh, actually the reason i i prefer to keep this element as it was uh, it was mainly because to add those details we simply needed uh, a right very precise perspective here so let's just keep this table as it is and later when we will start adding another details like the windows we have here we're gonna use those two cameras to step by step see if the proportions are correct if everything we do looks good so the final image the final output of our work is a simply a correct visualization so uh, speaking of windows we will now move to adding this kind of details seeing how those can be created quickly and if they match what we have already created thank you guys for watching if you want to support what i do and access all of the course project files that i created plus the complete interior scene setups for blender plus over 2000 blender exclusive 3d models visit the choco for store and learn more about our subscription plans these truly are the best money can get you if you really want to become better at blender thank you guys for watching and i see you in another video bye bye